quail have declined. It's gonna take a lot of blood and sweat to get back to where we were 10, 15 years ago. Working with friends and family and you know, making habitat, hopefully it'll help us to make a bigger impact of what we're doing here locally in Southeast Missouri. Hi, I'm Bob Marshall, conservation editor of Field and Stream Magazine. And today, the Hero for a Day crew is in Bloomfield, Missouri to help volunteers establish new quail habitat. We've got a great piece of property we're working on today. We're gonna to be doing some covey headquarters work for quail. We're doing some down tree structures and doing some edge feathering to create some escape cover for quail. And we'll be doing some bird surveys in the day as well. So I we appreciate everybody coming out today. Overall, the, the largest factor contributing to the decline of quail is just habitat loss. Quail are an early successional species and they require a lot of disturbance, which takes time and, and a lot of effort. So having volunteers come out and help landowners do projects like this, it's very beneficial. The Missouri Department of Conservation protects 19 swaths of public hunting land known as quail emphasis areas. The problem is 93% of the state is privately owned. We really specialize in private property. That's, that's one of the bigger goals of our chapter. You'll have healthier populations if there's connectivity between the populations. A quail emphasis area is a public land areas. The conservation department manages for quail. We take a quail emphasis area and then we move out from there and do a lot of habitat work on the private land that we call quail focus areas we increase the benefit of that habitat by tenfold. Today, the Boot Hill Bob White's chapter of Quail Forever will be establishing predator avoidance areas for nesting quail. Volunteers will pair off with experts from the Missouri Department of Conservation and the American Bird Conservancy to count calls and assess the population of quail on Crowley's Ridge. We're out here creating what we term covey headquarters, which is essentially uh, down tree structures or edge feathering. The nuances to building one of these is that you absolutely want bare ground underneath it, so you have to spray ahead of time. We go into the edge of the timber line and, and cut a 30 foot deep, 50 foot long uh, strip of trees and crisscross those trees for quail cover. We're increasing the usable space for the bob whites in this section okay, of the field. Ease it up. You absolutely have to have loosely packed brush piles. You don't want big, thick, and you have dirt in them. That that just attracts a lot of your predators these more open down tree structures are what we want for quail. We're heading out here on Crowley's Ridge Conservation Area doing a, a quail survey looking for bobwhite quail that are utilizing this habitat. We do bird counts so that we know what kind of species are out there and their relative numbers. As we make improvements, we try to do counts to find out if we're making progress. We put a lot of time and effort into this management. You know, we want to make sure that that time and effort is well spent. You know, I've been a quail hunter now 10 years. It's kind of good for the soul to hear the quail call. Quail are an indicator of great wildlife habitat. You know it's a good day when you hear a quail whistle. Quail are one of those iconic species that, that everybody likes. The birds are definitely increasing, but maybe not at the rate that, that we would hope, so we need to continue to provide more habitat, better habitat. I'd say today was a great success. We had a, a lot of work done in a couple hours' time. I feel proud to be able to provide 
an environment that is conducive to the organizations who are promoting wildlife protection. I regret that I didn't start earlier in life. To the volunteers who have been here today, I'm eternally grateful and I want to thank them from the bottom of my heart. Today, volunteers work to revive quail habitat. Thanks to the Boot Hill Bob White's chapter of Quail Forever, the Bloomfield, Missouri area once again will have a vibrant population of Bob White quail. You can make a difference in your local community too. Visit fieldandstream.com to learn about conservation projects across the country that are being led by outdoorsmen like you. And if you manage a conservation workday like the ones you've seen here, tell us about it at fieldandstream.com slash hero for a day. Your project could be featured on the website or in the magazine in 2014.